against. In the first reading, we heard from the letter of Paul to the Corinthians telling us that the love of Christ impels us. The love of Christ impels us. It is a common knowledge that oftentimes we are moved by our desire. Psychologists, intellectuals, others who have studied the human condition, they always talk about the human desire. Even St. Augustine had a lengthy uh, work on the desire. Desire is good, it's human, it is given by God. But there is another thing that moves us and that is articulated well in the first reading. Paul is telling us the love of Christ impels us. It is the love of Christ, something coming from outside of ourselves that moves us to move, to, to, to move towards Him, towards what God is promising us, heaven, His kingdom. When we are unable to distinguish between the pure human desire that is seeking the fulfillment of our own ego, our own self-interest, our own narcissistic tendency, we will be led uh, astray. But when we have enough time for God, we will know the true reality, the true meaning of the phrase sent, give, given to us by Paul, that the love of Christ impels us. The fundamental attitude that makes us discern to know which movement we have to obey in order to attain true happiness is modeled to us by Mary as we're heard in the gospel today. He took everything in her heart to interiorize our own the totality of our own experiences, our day-to-day -day actions, requires that time, that attention, and that capacity to reflect all the movements outside of ourselves and within ourselves, interiorizing them and allowing them to locate in that part of our existence where the love of God impels us. Only those who have experienced this will know what it means. All our movements move by desire. Our movements, occasions given to us by God so that gradually we will become aware that He is calling us, that He is impelling us to move towards his, the Father so that we can really go to his kingdom. The Blessed Mother, whose feast we remember today as the Immaculate Heart of Mary, is that symbol and reality that we have to imbibe, we have to incarnate, we have to own, that our heart can discern which movement would bring us to God or away from God, obeying simply our unreflected desire or reflecting them deep in our hearts, we are moved towards the Father because the love of Christ impels us.